The play we're going to be going over today is going to be one of the best ways you can beat man coverage in Madden 24, and the play is going to be Mesh Spot. Now, this is in the tight slots halfback week formation, and it is in the Cincinnati Bengals offensive playbook. This is arguably the best man-beating concept in the game this year because it does a great job of beating press man, off man, pressure out of man coverage, any kind of man coverage you're going to get. This play is going to be really, really effective for it. Now, um, I'm going to show you three different types of post routes that I would recommend on this uh, right side receiver. We are using Hot Route Master here, or if you didn't have Hot Route Master, I would really recommend a slot apprentice uh, at that circle receiver position. However, I understand some people don't have either one, and so that's why we're going to be starting with the basics of that post route. Now, uh, I do recommend a running back apprentice. It's really what makes this play go. If you don't have running back apprentice, then what you're going to want to do is you are going to want to uh, basically utilize a motion slant to the tight end where you motion him across, put him on a slant, and then you're basically trying to snap the ball before he sets his feet. As you can see, the spacing is not ideal for what we're going to show you, but those are some workarounds if you don't have the abilities. Now, the setup that we like to recommend is we're going to block our tight end. We're going to streak our, our left side receiver, and then we're going to X, uh, or we're going to angle route our running back. Now, our first read on this play, we're always looking to that streak, and then really we're trying to really hit this drag. Um, this drag is really effective this year against man-to-man. -man. If they isolate in man coverage, you really want to hit this drag route. I, I'll say it a billion times, but – the rat catches are so good this year. You can catch this and run for an easy 10 to 15 to 20 yards before they can even uh, play you. So uh, I really recommend that drag. Now, the next read on this is going to be the Texas pattern or this post route. Now, this post route, as you see right there, if I just run the stock, um, as I drop my controller, if I just run the stock post route, it's going to be able to beat man coverage consistently, okay? Uh, so they're going to have to user that post route and what that's going to do is it's going to open up your running back uh, on his Texas pattern because they're oftentimes not going to be able to have any underneath zones because they're going to be putting all their resources to trying to stop the, 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 the post route. So that's going to do a really good job of opening up that window. Now, another thing they might try to do is they might try to maybe put like a little cloud flat over here on the top uh, to try to basically play this route. This is where I love to smart route this route, especially in a first and 10 uh, situation or a second and eight situation. When you smart route this route, you'll see it'll get a little bit of a sharper cut and he will actually kind of low key. He didn't cut as good. Um, mid and elite will help this, I believe. But uh, again, I just recommend messing around with smart routing it uh, as well. The free form in terms of the free form or the pass lead that I'm recommending for this is we're basically going to freeform it uh, down and slightly to the outside. You can just freeform it down here. Um, and I guess the smart route is just absolutely the worst idea possible for practice mode. I've done it in game. It's been very effective against zone or anytime they're putting a cloud over there. Uh, when you smart route this, it can be good. This is also going to be good against press man, though. I do want to show that. So if they do press you in man coverage, um, you're going to have – one of your reads, your running back's going to be open, your post is going to be open. Obviously, practice mode, they shed absolutely unrealistically. It's not like they shed in the game, but keep that in mind. So another thing I want to uh, show you in terms of a man-beating concept here is to use the slot apprentice post. Now, the main reason to use the slot apprentice post is if you're anticipating that they might be putting um, they might be putting an outside third or they might, putting a, they might be in zone. Um, that's where I like to use that. So, for example, if they were doing something like this, this would be a great um, this would be a great time to utilize the slot apprentice post because if they're putting outside thirds and outside quarters, that streak's going to run those off, and then the slot apprentice post is a little sharper. So, a, it's going to be a little bit more consistent against man coverage, and then b, it's going to be more consistent just in terms of its ability uh, to be able to get underneath the deep blue zones. Whereas that um, stock post route is a little bit more of a vertical post; it's not as sharp. Whereas this one's a sharp post and it kind of comes underneath the deep defender over there. So if you think they're running a cloud flat, like let's say you think they might even be running, um, you know, let's say that you think, well, maybe they're running like cover two or something, right? Uh, or they're running double Mabel. 
this uh, first post route is going to be really, really good as I get matched by the mid read. Typically, they're going to be using the mid read. If they do match you in the mid read, your running back's going to be open. So don't really, you know, don't overthink it too much. But let's say they're running like um, a double flat defense where they're trying to get, you know, the deep 30 yard clouds. That's where um, the deeper post route is going to be better. So if you're, look at the sheds, look at the sheds. But anyway, you see Joe Montana making a play and then throwing the ball into Kansas. Uh, but you see he's wide open over there. Okay. So if they're going to run, any kind of double flat style of coverage on you, this is where you really want to hit and leave this sharp cutting post because he's going to come across. Now I'm going to free form it completely down and I want to catch it in front of the half defender and over the top of the cloud. So this play is so good. I could talk about this play a long time, um, but really guys, I just please don't sleep on your Texas um, concept or your, your, your running back angle route paired with your drag is really good and it's essentially going to be kind of like this was last year but now we're doing it from uh this and as you'll see here this drag just it just opens stuff up now you do got to be a little careful with the three rack with the running back route if the three rack is in the middle of the field you got to wait for that running back to clear him um, so keep that in mind Please use the, the slot apprentice. If you have the ability to use um, the slot apprentice post, it really adds to this play, I think. And, um, yeah, that is mesh spot, guys. This is this is one of the best plays in the entire game. And I just truly think if you can master the reads on this play, you could literally call this play 80% of your play calls. Guys, if you want to learn how to run tight slots halfback week, I've got a full Bengals offensive ebook. We're actually updating it over the course of the next couple of days. So make sure you're in the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to become a member, and uh, the link is going to be down in the description below.